Hello friends. Looking back, I can now see just how abrupt the impact of COVID-19 was on my life. I mean, at work, everything at Cornerstone changed abruptly. And at home, it resulted in a canceled vacation, a postponed trip to go see the kids, and all of a sudden we're homeschooling. And so to be very vulnerable, as we entered shelter at home at the Nave house, um, it was not a pleasant time. We were frustrated at each other. And yet, I'm already very thankful for how God has used this season in my life. Please hear, I'm not thankful for a global pandemic. I'm thankful for how God has been using this season in my life. You see, in the midst of that uh, frustrating time, God prompted a conversation between Carol Ann and me that it, it still kind of surprises me. Like, I'm surprised that I missed it because I knew it, but then I missed it. And now, like maybe 10 years late, I got to build a fence. You see, that first conversation kind of reminds me of, of a couple truths you see in Proverbs chapter 27. Iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. Like when two pieces of iron hit, it's noisy, um, sparks fly, and yet out of that, there's a sharpening. Out of that first conversation that was kind of, eh, there was this discovery. There was this beautiful journey of conversation and realizing, whoa, this is awesome. Thank you, God. Or verse 6, faithful are the wounds of a friend. Some of the things we said to each other were, were painful or hurtful. And yet, they were given in love. Those are the words, the wounds of a friend. I am so thankful for how God has used this in my life personally, as a pastor and as a husband. So back to that fence building. We had a discussion that led to a beautiful discovery of Carol Ann's love for horses. It's a love that she has laid down multiple times for me, a love that she has laid down multiple times for our family, for our kids. And yet in the midst of that journey, I realized that this is a gift that I get to give to my wife. It's, it's time to build a fence. So I'm really thankful for what God is doing in our lives. We'll see if I'm still thankful after all that fence I get to build for Carol Ann's horse. You see, here's the beautiful thing. Even that which is abrupt, even that which is difficult, we can see God's hand speaking to us, moving in our lives. I am so excited about what He's doing in my life, and I'm so excited to see what He is doing in your life. This weekend, we get to start a brand new series. It's, it's called Moving Forward. Like We get to look intently at some of the key lessons that we can learn in a season like this. Like there are some really special lessons we get to learn together. And so I hope you'll join us this weekend as we study God's word and we discover what he has for us. We don't wanna miss an opportunity to learn what God is speaking to us. And I challenge you, I hope you will find a way to engage with others as we do Cornerstone at home, as we're beginning to have more freedom to gather together as we worship the Lord. So uh, I hope you're looking for opportunities to, to gather together. And this weekend, as we study, we find this really unique and beautiful way that we get to have impact in other people's lives. Your life making a difference in someone else's life. It's gonna be a great weekend together. Let me pray for you today. God, I thank you for my friends. I thank you so for the ways that you have shown up in my life, for the ways that you are growing me as a husband, for the ways in which you've been speaking to Carol Ann and me. I, I have much anticipation of what, of what more you're going to do. May you do that to your glory in the life of my friends. May they sense your voice today. May they hear your words. May they sense your presence. May you guide them and help them discover more of what you have for them and rest in your goodness and grace today. God, we are so thankful for your willingness to meet us, to speak to us, to reveal yourself and invite us to know you. And so it is with great privilege that we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day because the reality is with Jesus, 
you can't lose. Enjoy.